call it infinity. Heaven Letter Number 4625 July 24, 2013 You are my sunshine. I love to be with you. You make me happy. Will you be happy with me? Or will you rail and complain? No matter, I still love to be with you. I don't miss out on anything, yet I am a God who can overlook. It is not even that I overlook. I am the true seer, and I see beyond complaints and such. I see right into your heart. Here, your heart beats in mine. I know the truth of you, and not all this mumbo-jumbo. There is nothing else for me to see but the light of you shining like the sun. I am irresistibly drawn to you. Not for all the tea in the world, would I be absent from you who are my very heart awash with love, title love in the beat of my heart. We are together, you and I, and no one, nothing, can put us asunder. No one can tell me otherwise. I am not a chain, yet no link in our connection can be broken, sod, clipped by pliers, no, not at all. Nothing can scatter us. Not an explosion of atoms can shatter the reality of our love. Our love, however, can shatter all the fallacies you have given allegiance to. You and I are in this thing called life, together. Your biggest failing, if there is one, is that you overlook the splendor of yourself. I can get along very well without your awareness of me. I can understand you. You cannot understand yourself. I understand you effortlessly. I understand your hang-ups. More, I can get you out of them. Love can do everything. What have you imagined that our love is incapable of? Our love can move mountains. Our love can leap over tall buildings. Our love can leap over any obstacle you can think of. Nothing can affect our love one whit. You might say otherwise. Sometimes you have been disinclined to rest with me. You may have tied up all your frustration and anger in one knapsack and thrown it at me, as you would a scapegoat. Sometimes I have been like the tire you kick. You are upset. I am not. I know how our story plays out. It has a happy ending. Actually, our story has a happy non-ending, for we walk in eternity. Eternal and infinite is our love. We walk in green pastures and lie down by the still waters. There is nowhere we are not. Only you think we are separate. What's more, you may think we are opposed. When you can accept that we swing together in the cusp of a new moon do you begin to know how integral we are. We are not separate. There is no separation. There is oneness. Oneness is yours, and, therefore, mine. We live secure in the wholeness of oneness. We are in each other's pocket, as it were. If you take two steps left, I take two steps left with you. I am right with you at every turn. As we speak of this, do you find yourself releasing tenseness? Are you not more relaxed just thinking about whose heart you are in and whose hand holds yours? I am beyond language, and yet I understand all languages. I do not require language. There is a depth before language, and we, you and I, frequent this depth. Our oneness may well be beyond your understanding. You can know our oneness without understanding of it. Your heart understands. Your heart knows. Your heart understands everything, and all is well. We are clasped in an eternal embrace that knows no bounds. Our embrace might be called infinity. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org